Okay, it looks like we have the puck. We take it in. And let's rewind that. Let's watch that one in slow motion here. If I can get the slow mo going on the settings. This is always a good thing if you don't know how to do slow motion on YouTube. You just click on the settings bar and you can make the speed uh, 25%. Let's see if this works again. Going back to the beginning. Let's watch it again. Okay, let's see what we got here. Looks like we have Doug who makes a nice escape move. Pulls up. Chase has a screen there. He doesn't use it. Goes towards the defender. Who's about to swipe at him? Let's see what happens. And they're both at him, and now there's two guys on him. And it looks like he can regroup back to the D, or there's a man on the right. And the shot misses wide, which is a log roll. And then after the shot, instead of following it, turning away from the play, back is now to the play. Let's see what happens now. Okay, we have one four checker deep. We have one defenseman very deep where no one's even near him. So the, Nord the whole point of this video is to try to read the situation right now. One good thing is that they're spread out. They're not right on top of each other. That's one good thing about our team. Okay. Another thing that we should look at is who's out there. There's two good little guys out there. They're very small. I would try to body up those small players. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit. Okay, comes around. Not a great play. His, his, his back to the ice, he brings it back around. It's always a good play, though, to go into this safe zone over here. This is called the safe zone. Usually it's very difficult um, for, for, for four checkers to, to, to get a player in the safe zone, okay? So that's where he's going. He was going towards the safe zone. Not, not, never a bad play. He's got a really fast four checker on him right now. Let's see what he does. He gets rid of it very quickly. Not a great pass, but it makes it there. Now, they are both together. My suggestion would be spread apart and change positions like we do in the drill that we've been doing. Boom. Reverse. He's now out of the play. We have Doug now who's in a good defensive position. And watch this play. He now banks it off the boards to the player. Now we see Sam, I believe this is Sam, coming at little guy. We have Chase hitting the deck. And here is... Now, stand, this is flat foot, which means that he can do anything that he wants. Let's see what he does. He scores, is what he does. So, it's very important that you make proper decisions and read the play. And let's talk about how we can make that play more effective. Okay, let's take a look at this one. I think I see Ava in the corner wrap it hard against the boards, which is a great play because all five of the white jerseys are there and then here let's let's pause the video here I see one player not even skating full speed into the four check this is where you score goals okay this is where you are become a real <coughs> problem for their defense we're gonna have a two-man four check for the rest of the season which means number one and number two should be flying full speed like their house is on fire and they're going to get buckets of water to put out their fire right on the on the on the on the uh, defense right here and notice how the defense uses the safe zone and misdirects and we take a wide sweeping turn and this player still here has not forechecked yet okay I think I see some D changing and we have some we have really not a lot going on in the zone right here what we like in this situation is if you look behind the net the guys there the right winger should now be facing the man with the, with the, the boy with the puck and they should be probably I'm gonna guess the guys gonna try probably want to go to the board so I take a look at where he's passing and I cut off the pass of the boards this player the center is already behind the net and is committed okay so the center is in trouble we have our defense changing so it's not ideal for a deep for, for the defense to do too much here let's see what happens he comes across we have a, we have a lot of hoverers right here hoverer and a hoverer 
We have a man open in white over here. All he has to do is simply bank it off and there's actually a break. It looks like it could be a break away. So you have to make clear decisions on who you're going to cover and what you're going to do. Standing still and thinking is not a hockey move. Okay, he does hit that man on the on the point. He hits the he hits the winger, and the winger now has a break. I see Sam is now on defense, and now we have, due to the lack of forechecking, we now have a two on one against Sam. Okay, if there was if there was clear cut decision making, if there was hustle and fire, there wouldn't be the situation right now. He pulls up, and now it's actually a three on one. One, two, three on Sam. and it results in a goal. I didn't even know that. <laughs> so uh, I just looked at the play and I started taping it and I didn't like what I saw and this is the result of what I didn't like. So it happens just to be coincidental that it happened to be a goal. So 